Hi and welcome to another video update from the Fire Brigade Union, this time on the vital issue of firefighter pensions and the legal claim that their union has been running since the government tore up firefighters' pensions and forced everyone onto the 2015 scheme. We're joined by Union's General Secretary, Matt Rack. Matt, this has been a substantial legal challenge the union's been running and it's now come to an end. What's the update? Well, where we're at with it is the case was heard by an employment tribunal. So when we say legal case, it's an employment tribunal case at this stage. Uh, what has happened is the case itself has concluded. So that means that the evidence from both sides has been heard and we're now awaiting the judgment in that, in that case. Uh, and just to be clear on that, I think people need to be aware these things move slowly. So we're told it would take six to eight weeks after the conclusion of the case. So sometime in March, I think we're expecting the outcome of, uh, of that uh, case. And uh, it's based around, you know, we've taken a long time to prepare it. It's based around, essentially, the biggest argument is about age discrimination, but there's also elements of race and sex discrimination as well. Uh, but essentially, that the people who have been protected, i.e. were kept on the old scheme, uh, are the older firefighters, and the people who have been not protected have been younger than them, and the only difference between them generally is their age, uh, and that therefore that is age discrimination. Uh, and that's, I suppose in a nutshell, that's the argument that we've pre presented and the, the government's case is to uh, whether that was discrimination and if it was, why they did it and trying to justify it. And those were the sort of detailed arguments that, that were presented in the Employment Tribunal. Now we've been hearing news that a case which is very similar to ours, bizarrely involving judges, um, has been heard and has come to uh, fruition and they've won the case. Does that mean that we're going to win ours? Well, the, yes, the judge's case is, is, is different. There are a lot of similarities in the arguments, but it's a different pension scheme and a different group of uh, employees. So people have to, uh, have to be aware that it, there will be differences. But it certainly strengthens the argument uh, that we're making. The judges won some of the arguments where we've made similar arguments in our employment tribunal case. Uh, I think the governments have said that they will appeal that case. And again, in terms of timing, I think uh, FBU members have to be aware the government may also appeal our case if we win it. OK, Matt, so you talked about if we do win it. I mean, actually, what are we expecting? Should we do win it? Is it simply a case of more time because of an appeal or are we getting a concrete outcome? Well, I think the uh, first of all, we, we're very confident we put a very good case. Uh, I attended the, the, the hearing. Other officials did so uh, also. Uh, uh, we've presented a very good case. We we think it was a better. We think obviously it was a better case than the other sides. But that's now for the judge to make a, a ruling on for the for the tribunal. I do expect that the government has a you know potentially a lot of risk for the government in this. Uh, I expect that they will be planning. Uh, to consider appealing so there may be that delay and what we're also now need to sit down and we're discussing with our, our legal advisors is what would happen if we were to win it uh, and how can we resolve it so we've already flagged up with the government that actually we're quite happy to sit down and negotiate a way out of this that gives better uh, protections for our, our members um, rather than going through the whole rigmarole of a, a further exp very expensive uh, legal case. And Matt, just finally, I mean, when the government tore up firefighters' pensions and imposed a new scheme, I mean, this is something that deeply affected the entire fire and rescue service. And it's only the fire brigade union that's been running this legal challenge. No other body? No, absolutely. I mean, it's, uh, it is an appalling attack on uh, firefighters' pensions. Uh, it is, uh, there are a whole range of people affected. I know there are very senior officers, chief officers, I suspect, who are affected by these changes as well. The only body that has uh, launched this campaign, and it's taken a long time to get it ready, it's cost us a lot of money, it's cost FBU members a lot of money, not members of any other organisations. The Fire Brigade Union is the only organisation taking this up. Uh, so yes, I think that's something that our members uh, can be confident that we are exploring every avenue to try to protect them and improve the position in relation to pensions. Matt, thanks. For an update on this and indeed every other issue affecting our members, please go to our website, and that's www.fbu.org.uk. You can also get more immediate updates on Twitter, and that's at FBU National. Until next time, thanks very much, Matt. Thanks, Matt.